We only visited the northern part of Mongolia, which is the home of many bird species, particularly four species of cranes, namely demoiselle, white-naped, Eurasian, and Siberian cranes. Once you are out of the seemingly endless capital, Ulan Bator, you see vast grasslands interspersed with wetlands and small lakes surrounded by mostly treeless hills. There is relatively little agriculture because much of the soil is too poor and the growing season is very short. These grasslands and wetlands are the home of many er herds of domesticated horses, as well as sheep and cattle. In particular, horses form an important part of the lives of the semi-nomadic people living outside of the few cities. They lead a simple life, without a lot of belongings, but are not poor by our standards. In areas where the animals do not have access to open water, the herdsmen bring their animals to wells to water them. The long sticks have a loop at the end and are used to capture horses. Since the ground is frozen much of the year, only the top layer is not frozen in the summer. In order to get access to the water, they must break through the permafrost. The herdsmen and their families live in gurs, also called yurts in other parts of Asia. During the summer, they move their gurs and their animals several times to avoid overgrazing. The land is for the most part public land. We don't know how they decide who can put up their gurs where. Many of the gurs have solar panels, 12 volt batteries, and 12 volt TVs and freezers. Of course, one of the reasons the whole group traveled to Mongolia was to see the cranes. We saw primarily Demoncel, the white-naped crane, and also some Eurasian and Siberian cranes. One of the cultural highlights of the trip was the first Mongolian Crane Festival. The International Crane Foundation supports local efforts to preserve cranes and the wetlands they need, partly through financial support by raising local awareness, and also through training future local conservation leaders. Supporting the Crane Festival is one such effort.
Other sights included camels, various birds, and flowers. Since hotels are almost non-existent, we slept either in tents, where the meals were served in a large tent, and the toilet was in a small tent, or we stayed in Gur camps, which had showers and served meals in dining rooms. Mm -hmm. 